Well, everyone, thanks for watching tonight. I just wanted to make a quick little channel appreciation video. Just want to thank everybody. I uh, I just forgot to uh, mention that I finally got over a thousand subs. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Just putting out videos, basically to chronologue my journey on most of my stuff I do. I mean, even from home repair to computer stuff to boating, to finances, to crypto stuff. It all started as crypto, but there's only so much you can really do in the crypto space. I can only show you so many GPUs. I can only show you so many CPUs and show you mining. It's once you get it, you get it. Uh, the challenge for me is instead of doing uh, constant update stuff, which is good, I think it's helpful. I like to make some more evergreen stuff. What is that? Stuff that people can use and refer to over time, like how to fix something. Uh, here's a solution on this. And those videos seem to do quite well in any domain, in any subject matter, on most channels. If you can provide a solution for somebody, uh, that is good. There's one video I have, I just threw together on an iPhone. It was like how to fix your display adapters on Windows if uh, the drivers aren't being updated or something like that. It was years ago. That thing is doing really well. And I, at the time, you don't know that's doing really well or that's going to be a thing. I think I was having a problem. I found a solution for me and I recorded it on my iPhone of all things, holding it against my screen. And it seems to have uh, hit home with a lot of people having trouble with Windows. So I've been putting out lately a couple more things from my notes database on uh, just stupid stuff I found like hacks, uh, workarounds and things that would uh, basically make my life better for Macintosh, Windows, uh, whatever, CPU mining, whatever. I'm not a genius at any of this stuff. I always look at what's bothering me, what is, what's a roadblock, and I do research, Google, whatever. And I try to find a quick solution that will make things faster and easier so you don't have to keep, you know, keep wasting time trying to resolve stuff. Just go watch a video, put out a video, because if my philosophy is I'm, if I'm having a problem, somebody else is having the same problem because I'm just Mr. Average. Yeah, and I'm just trying to figure this stuff out as I go. So yeah, anyway, thanks to everybody for uh, helping subscribe and uh, like the videos. The channel is not monetized. So if you do see commercials, the money is going to the, the uh, powers at, that be at YouTube uh, corporate. I don't get anything, but uh, I do it for fun. And uh, if you guys have any recommendations, any topics, any comments, or uh, anything you'd like to see, uh, anything. I mean, I'm going through a lot right now with my hands in a lot of buckets uh, from like finances, like I said, uh, looking at some of the latest news on where things are trending financially in the world, which is kind of kind of a little concerning on some fronts. Uh, there's some great sites I'm finding as I as I go through that rabbit hole on uh, crypto. What is going on with banking? What's going on with the stock market? Trying to want to get into the political stuff. That seems like an easy easy uh, way to go with the channel but i know youtube doesn't like some of that stuff and they they won't even monetize you then if you don't have the same ideological think as the folks in the obvious san francisco area you can imagine that ideology so you just stay away from that stuff it's an easy way to get into things and get subs and that but eh, i'm not into that i i mean i think things and i know things and i feel things but i think i want to keep this solution driven fun driven and uh, yeah, what else? Um, just stuff I had notes and I've been going through all my notes because uh, I learned in the past and through my career, if you don't write it now, once you learn it, you're never going to remember it. And what happens is a couple years go by and you need that information. How did I fix that? Oh my God, it's going to take days for me to remember how to do that. Because at the time, you're almost a genius. You're driven to reach, research stuff and find a solution. So I now write it down. I put it in notes. <clears throat> I make a video or something like that or I put it in pages or put it on my phone, but mostly in notes in my notebook on the line here. And uh, what I'll go, I'll go through my notes and uh, I'll just make a video about it. There's some long process on just how I configure a rig. So simple stuff from, uh, from scratch with Windows, a, a fresh Windows install and how to make it so you uh, automatically log in. Little crap like that. How to stop Windows updates from automatically updating your system because you don't want that when you're, when you're um, mining because your rig will update maybe destroy you the drivers you installed replace them 
And worse yet, reboot your system so your machine is no longer mining. So little stuff like that I've been doing. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know. Uh, my background is tech, is a uh, software uh, engineering for uh, a special domain I worked in. Uh, that's all I can say about that. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of interesting stuff on career advice. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what people want. Uh, this channel, it's like a, to me, it's just everything. It's not one niche. It started that way, but I just think put out everything. Uh, to help people and just to see what other people are up to. I know one guy I watch, he f makes like seven videos a day. He, and he just goes to Walmart. He goes to Bucky's. He goes, um, what is, what's the other place? Uh, 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 what's that? Uh, Home Depot, Costco. And he just makes videos of that and people watch it. I'm just amazed by that. So I'll watch it for a minute. And one guy puts a summary of the video. Like this guy does this today. This guy drove a mile bought a hot dog, talked about this, and then he went home. That's a video. It's almost like Seinfeld. It's pretty amazing. So if you're looking to do a YouTube channel, just start. You can just put anything out there, anything sort of interesting. I mean, people will watch it. It does take time. I mean, I'm not, I'm not Mr. Beats or whatever that guy is who makes a billion. Because he went through the whole experiment of how do you make a great channel. I just don't care. I just want to put out useful stuff that may help other people. Uh, keep it real. I'm not trying to spin GPUs and push ASIC miners. I don't even care about that crap. Uh, I'm giving you my opinions on stuff like that. When it looks like it's suspicious or it's a pain in the butt to do things like that, purchase things. It's just like, ah, no. And the, the expression is true. Sometimes the juice is not worth the squeeze and you just got to be real about it, man. Um, wealth, wealth information, how to get rich quick. It's just not there, folks. You got to go in for the long term. And I always say that. So just watch out for YouTubers. Um, what I do on most YouTube videos, I do 1.5 to 1.75 speed and I skip just to get through to the point because I don't want to sit there for 20 minutes and most of the guys don't really say anything. Oh, excuse me, especially financially stuff. Just watch that stuff. Watch if you're in the retirement or planning for retirement, whatever age you are, if you're doing, oh my God, index fund event, don't just look for the stuff, doubt, but verify, uh, listen to the crap and, uh, jot it down and maybe explore it yourself, but just. Anybody on YouTube, I'm telling you, other than education stuff, but anything like with finances, uh, just doubt but verify, man. Be careful out there. Do not respond to anyone that reaches out to you from YouTube because it's probably a scam. If you get anything in your text, email, or comments, do not click on anything. A lot of scams going on. There's a lot of cyber, cyberware attacks. Cyber ransoms are crazy right now. Uh, just be careful out there. Almost, I don't know. What, you never seen a fish catch a man, basically. So if, if someone's trying to contact you and you didn't solicit it from, you know, you didn't ask for it, most likely it's a scam. So just ignore it, especially on text, emails, comments, and uh, freaking YouTube channels, all that stuff. Just be careful out there. Uh, that's all I got. Just want to thank everybody for the channel growth. It's not big. It's not much, but it's something, right? And we'll see what happens with this channel. Uh, I'll just try to keep putting stuff out. I have almost... Two weeks of videos I made because I went through my notes and I kind of spaced them out equally instead of just blah, instead of barfing them all out at once, which makes no sense for the for the viewers, for the algorithm, for stuff like that. So hopefully they'll find you'll find them interesting. They're kind of varied, but uh, we'll see where they what sticks. And I'll try to keep thinking of stuff again, stuff that stuff that interests me, stuff that basically solves problems I have. I will post. Yeah, like little stupid stuff like my iPhone not charging. I put one out on that as well. The solution has worked for me. It may not work for others, but I do not want to buy a new phone for a thousand bucks. I think that's another scam these companies get on you. And uh, I have an old iPhone with an actual home button yet. I'm just not going to drop a thousand bucks on a phone. I'll be honest. I am waiting for the SpaceX phone to come out. The uh, Starlink phone that Musk is working on. All right. Thanks for watching.